How would you like to enter the shark tank? A few brave teachers did just that, all for a good cause. Here's Georgette Copes. Quiet on the set. One, two, three, action. Hello, I'm Ivan Van Poole. And I'm Lauren Weber. We're Today in History, October 13th. Okay, cut. School teacher Yvette Schemenauer is holding this after school class called Shark Bites. Students are filmed for a school news segment that broadcasts for all kids on campus. Well, last year during the spring, during the last school year, I was invited by some of my colleagues to attend a Q Technology Conference in Palm Springs and I attended that conference and one of the classes there was about video production and having the students develop a video announcement rather than just hearing it auditorily over the loudspeaker. So from that I came back to Summit Intermediate and I asked my principal Mrs. Arita if I could incorporate what I learned into my elective class. And this is Joke of the Week. So Sophia, do you want to hear a joke? Sure. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cows go. Cows go who? Cows go moo, not who. <laughs> I loved it when I was in middle school. And so I thought, oh, that would probably be really good for these students. They would love to do it. And they love being hands-on. And the announcements. They, they love hearing what's going on in school and visually seeing it. Welcome, Welcome to Shark Doppler weather. weather. Well, it seems the Santa Ana winds are coming back. Yep. These winds are strong, dry, downslope winds. They start inland and affect Southern California and Northern Baja, California. A special visit for students at Summit Intermediate School. Rancho Cucamonga Mayor L. Dennis Michael stopped by with some words of encouragement. Okay, but there is a sidewalk on the west side, right? Okay, I, I think we'll make sure that there's a sidewalk on one side of the street or the other uh, by the fire station. Okay? After the kids asked their questions, the mayor sat down for his interview in the shark seat. Three, action. International Safe Routes to School Day is on Wednesday, October 8th, and is taking effect in more than 40 countries worldwide. The mayor spent some time talking with a group of enthusiastic students. They asked many questions about Walk to School Day, and they were curious about how the city is making it safer to walk or ride your bike to school. I want to thank you all for letting me come here and visit with you today. And uh, I think on October 8th, uh, we're going to be back up here at one of the schools. Students were very excited to learn more about the media industry as the school continues to offer the Shark Bites program at Summit Intermediate School. Reporting for RC Spotlight, I'm Georgette Copes.